Let's talk about a B7 arpeggio. Let's talk about playing a dominant seven chord just on the seventh fret. So there's lots of tricks you can do. The, the interesting thing about this chord is it's got a minor note in it and it's got the most major note in it, the, the decider of a major chord, the three. It's got those mixed together. You get that twang, that bluesy twang. So let's look at this arpeggio to start. Seven, six, nine, seven, nine. That takes us from the B to the B. So one, three, five, flat seven, one, three, five, flat seven, one, three. So everywhere we have a three, we can kind of slide into it to create a more bluesy effect. So from that fifth fret to sixth fret is me kind of making a bluesy effect into that three of this B chord. And you've seen that riff a lot in a lot of guitar stuff. That, that kind of thing, that effect, there goes that same thing. This is the same thing we did down here, but this is in a higher octave. And you can do that up there on that highest one. 10th fret to 11th fret. So let's look at how the arpeggio sounds by itself. But let's look at how it sounds when we put that little bluesy spin onto it. Now I'm adding a couple notes from the pentatonic just to make it kind of have more notes and not sound just like an arpeggio. So I put this note in. Like I put that same note there. But look at all the different kind of bluesy things you can do just by knowing about that little half step thing. Start looking at some other notes you can add to that. All right, that was B7 dominant. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. Appreciate you.